Winning the fight for tax justice. How do we make multinationals pay? When the Panama Papers scandal hit the headlines in 2016, millions of documents exposed systemic corruption, money laundering and tax cheating across the globe. The paper trails also showed how multinational companies dodge tax by moving their profits from high-tax countries to tax havens. Corporate tax dodging deprives countries of a staggering $500 billion of tax revenues every year. But despite the headlines and the scandals, the offshore world is alive and kicking. Reforms to global tax rules are underway, but progress has been really slow. Corporate tax dodging hurts everyone, but it hits lower income countries the hardest, and it makes the gap between rich and poor even wider. Part of the problem is that we tax corporate subsidiaries as separate entities rather than taxing the corporation as a whole. And we tax them based on their reported profits rather than on their actual business activity. The name of the game is transfer pricing. Companies using devious ways to shift profits to low or zero tax countries, often jurisdictions where they do little, if any, actual business. Multinationals use lots of subsidiaries to distort the prices of exchanges across jurisdictions with in their own businesses. These exchanges often involve intellectual property like copyrights, patents and brand names, intangible assets that are hard to put an accurate price on. These company subsidiaries in high-tax countries then pay huge royalties or fees for these assets to subsidiaries in low-tax countries. These fake costs make their profits in high-tax countries look much lower and just like that their tax bills shrink away. For example, in the Paradise Papers scandal, journalists discovered that Nike was moving vast chunks of its profits to the zero tax location of Bermuda by registering their intellectual property there. Their Bermudian subsidiary was then charging expensive royalty fees to Nike subsidiaries in the rest of the world. That's how Nike built up billions in offshore profits. Corporate tax havens are to blame, but tax havens aren't quite what you might think. Tax haven blacklists drawn up by the OECD and the EU you typically point the finger at small tropical islands like Guam and Trinidad and Tobago. But these blacklists are highly politicised and misleading. They ignore the fact that lots of rich countries are also providing secrecy and corporate tax haven services. They're also falling over themselves to offer companies tax cuts. Western banks and law and accountancy firms play a key role in helping multinationals shift their profits around the globe. The UK is the world's number one offender when it comes to facilitating corporate tax dodging. The city of London's powerful financial services industry sits at the centre of a spider's web that stretches across the UK's network of satellite havens. The British Virgin Islands, Bermuda, the Cayman Islands, Jersey and the Bahamas are all linked to the UK and they rank among the top 10 most harmful corporate tax havens. Other major players are the Netherlands, Switzerland, Luxembourg, Singapore and Hong Kong. Multinationals pay accountancy firms huge sums to conjure up these tax dodging schemes. These firms also lobby international organisations and governments to make sure laws and treaties work in their corporate clients' favour. Corporate tax rates have been falling since the 1980s. Countries are in a vicious race to the bottom, trying to attract investment by offering corporations generous subsidies, tax breaks and loopholes. But who wants to win a race to the bottom? And this race won't stop when the tax rates hit 0%. Meanwhile, bilateral tax treaties mostly work to the advantage of rich countries and corporate interests. The United Arab Emirates, the United Kingdom, France, Switzerland and the Netherlands, they're among the worst offenders for drawing up unfair tax treaties with poorer countries that limit their rights to properly tax the business that takes place within their borders. The real source of the corporate tax dodging problem is a colossal failure to update laws written over a century ago. These laws just aren't fit for purpose. The OECD's taken up the role of setting international standards and implementing reforms, but so far these reforms have amounted to little more than tinkering around the edges and the problems got steadily worse. So how do we stop multinational corporate tax dodging once and for all? First, we need transparency rules that force all multinationals to publicly declare their profits and business activities in every country they operate. This is known as country by country reporting. Second, we need fairer ways to divide up the taxable share of corporate income between jurisdictions. We can do that by taxing multinational corporations as a whole rather than treating each subsidiary as a separate entity. Then we can divide the multinationals' taxable profits between nations by combining the value of the sales and property and the number of employees in each place it does business. Then it wouldn't matter how multinationals shift their profits around, it would still be taxed. This idea is called unitary taxation by formulary apportionment. Third, we need to stop nations undercutting each other's tax rates. 
we can tackle that by establishing a global minimum effective corporate tax rate, ideally around 25%. This would stop corporations shopping around for tax deals. These solutions can build an open and transparent tax system that works fairly for everyone. They can put a stop to transfer pricing and profit shifting, end the race to the bottom, and restore the link between where business activity actually happens and where tax gets paid. In the meantime, poorer countries can take steps to protect themselves against corporate tax dodging. They can cancel or renegotiate unfair tax treaties and write their own laws and regulations for companies operating in their nations. They can also form regional blocks with an agreed minimum effective corporate tax rate. But for real change to happen on a global scale, we need citizens to mobilise across the world. We need to insist our governments stop this race to the bottom and implement proper tax reform. It may not feel like a hot button issue like healthcare or education, but corporate tax dodging is hurting billions of us around the world. Governments are cutting spending on public services and inequality is rising to astronomical levels. Now we just need a sexy campaign slogan. What do we want? Public country by country reporting and unitary taxation by formulary apportionment. When do we want it? Now! Hmm, but might need a bit more work. <laughs>